What's up you guys, this is Armando Torres here again bringing you an unboxing video of the Birma Velocity Flights in the green highlighter and orange colorway. Um, I'm sorry if the quality is not up to par uh, as previous videos because uh, I am using my tablet which is not as good quality as my um, Galaxy 4 which kind of, I don't know if you guys can see but the camera is kind of busted uh, but that's beside the point hope you guys get the idea and uh, hopefully I'll bring you more reviews uh, but onto the box itself it's a little bit dirty but this is a very um, kind of bright yellow with black uh, you got the beard my logo the website another beard my logo right here beard my soccer on the back uh, another beard my logo and the information right there I got this in the ten and a half which is exactly my size Gonna go ahead and open up the box now. All you get uh, in the box are the shoes themselves. Uh, this is kind of a cool little feature that it includes uh, this kind of paper uh, with its own branding on it. I thought that was pretty cool. I've never seen that before. So I'm gonna get the box out of the way. Um, I'm gonna try and steal, I guess steal. Um, well, it's not really stealing. It's more a kind of a of a tribute if you will because I think uh, uh, soccerreviewsforyou.com has some of the best reviews on the internet if not the best so um, you know I'm gonna try my best to um, describe it to you possibly as he would now when you get the shoes uh, be a little uh, background information on Birma Birma uh, is a very very popular uh, soccer brand in Mexico primarily and used by uh, uh, Latin, Latin, Latin players Latin soccer players primarily um, and it's not very popular in, in the United States or in uh, North America for that matter or in Europe and why it's not is very surprising as you guys can see it's a very very nice looking boot it's very lightweight and it incorporates a lot of uh, a lot of features that you'd probably find on higher end boots such as Adidas and Nike uh, I've mentioned this in my previous video of the um, of the zero gravity boots that they take a lot of ideas and they incorporate it into their boots and they make it very affordable to the general public I got these particular boots for sixty dollars uh, which is very, very, very cheap in comparison to something like the Hypervenom, which clearly it's trying to uh, do its best to kind of mimic, if you will. Uh, it's very, very reminiscent, as you guys can see, of by that honeycomb pattern, if you will. It's very, very reminiscent to that of the um, Hypervenom. But not just that, because it steals other, uh, or mimics, if you will, other kind of very very key features of other boots and kind of incorporates it into its own um, into its own boot and what these features are I will explain very very uh, shortly as you guys can see it's a uh, green primarily in the forefoot you got your orange beard my logo uh, orange laces orange beard my logos on the um, lateral and medial sides you got your velocity flight um, branding right there it says Birma on the back with a kind of a white border it has this cool orange fades a little bit with lines kind of running across to the green uh, backdrop for the orange Birma logo and you got a little bit more green with this kind of transpiring uh, into the highlighter and you have these kind of lines which are they're not grippy or anything they're just kind of for show um, and that's pretty much it you got your Birma branding on the tongue as well right there as you guys can see and something interesting about this tongue is that it's ver it's mesh on the bottom half if you guys can see it starts off with that same honeycomb pattern the same same as the upper and it kind of transcends as it goes down into uh, mesh so it should make it a little bit more breathable uh, I have yet to do a playtest on these I have not worn them clearly by their brand new state um, 
what they try to incorporate, what Beardmont tries to incorporate into their boots is a lot of the things that make Nike and Adidas so popular. And it, they do it so well that it's kind of like its own hybrid boot. And what I mean by that is it takes the best of both worlds, if you will. Um, you can see that it has a very, very kind of... Uh, texturized honeycomb pattern uh, like the hypervenoms the heel counter is very 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 small as you guys can see it's an external heel counter and it's called the velocity no it's called the flight uh, sole plate it has four bladed studs in the back very triangular very reminiscent to that of the predator uh, sole plate as you guys can see right there very very reminiscent to the um, Predator uh, soul plate from uh, I believe it was 2010 tw 2011 I can't remember it was the last time I believe they, they used uh, leather calfskin leather on their boots instead of the uh, hybrid touch synthetic that they're using now um, so you can see that it's kind of, it's kind of the stud pattern is reminiscent to that of the Predator the soul plate itself which is kind of this plastic is made of the uh, it's kind of trying to mimic the sprint frame from um, Adidas as well. Uh, and it, it does it so well. It's a very, very lightweight boot. I would say it would probably weighs around the 7 to 8 ounce mark. Um, so it's very lightweight. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, take the paper that's inside so I can show you guys the inside of these boots and give you some tech specs on that. So when it comes to the inside of the boot, um, you have this kind of synthetic heel liner, which is very, very good, and it, and it grips your heel very nicely. This is probably the best. Um, I prefer it over the suede heel liners. You can see that it has your non-removable heel liner right there with the Piedmont logo uh, and its branding. And you can see that the inside, I don't know if... This is probably the best angle I can get it at, but it's that honeycomb pattern as well as the back of the, uh, the back of the tongue. It's very, very, very reminiscent, and it has these kind of little slits that I believe are um, adjacent or parallel to this uh, this design element right here that runs from the from the sole plate to the. Um, Kind of to the lacing system so you can see that there's actually these holes and then it helps i suppose with the lightweight uh, element kind of not not as uh, padded as one might assume so yeah that's pretty much the inside of the of the of the of the boot itself very very interesting design and very very similar to the hypervenoms as previously mentioned My final thoughts on the Pirma Velocity Flights are that they are a great boot, uh, very, very soft, uh, very kind of uh, reminiscent of the Hypervenoms you guys can see. It's it's kind of like, it's pretty much the same thing. I, I can't understand, I can't explain it really, um, but if you guys can see, I hope that the, there's kind of like a mesh underlay. It's very, very strange. It's very, very reminiscent to the Hypervenoms. Um, but my overall, my summary is that these are great boots. Uh, the colorway is probably not my favorite. There is this other colorway that I wanted. Um, I'm probably going to go and try and check them out tomorrow and see if I can get those. Um, but very, very comfortable boots from right out of the box. I try to do an, unbo uh, an on feet kind of type thing but I think that would be a lot better in grass and with actual soccer socks which I um, didn't want to put on to be honest <laughs> but um, anyways sorry I keep veering off track but very very soft boots very very comfortable upper from right out of the box very little to no break in time required very very lightweight shoe um, Probably around the seven to eight ounce mark, as previously mentioned, um, with the, with the sprint frame and the stud pattern. 
I love the stud pattern, by the way. It's it's very, very good. Um, and honestly, all these things are just fit and crammed into one boot, and it's so much cheaper than any uh, Hyper Venom. You know, you can buy these for $60 and get Hyper Venom quality uh, boots without, you know, shelling out all that money for actual Hyper Venoms, or even going for a, a takedown model, which... Uh, uh, if the takedown models are, uh, something you're a fan of, you know, if you don't mind going for take, I know I don't mind going for takedown models because they're a lot cheaper and obvious, honestly, I don't see that grand of a difference with most boots, uh, like the CTRs, for example. Um, but if you are in a bit of a budget and want to go for a boot that's very, very good quality, very lightweight, uh, very comfortable, um, very stylish, I would assume. For some people, this is uh, quite stylish. Uh, then these Birma Velocity Flights are very, very good choices. And uh, I don't think any of you would be upset uh, if you if this is what you're kind of looking for. Go ahead and give you guys a view. And I'm going to try and do the uh, arm feet portion uh, later. Because I can't right now. Uh, but yeah, this this was my review. If you ha guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. And uh, I will try to get to those as quickly as possible. Uh, I love answering your guys' questions. So if you have any questions about these particular boots, feel free to let me know. And uh, like and favorite and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos. It motivates me a lot. And uh, thank you very much for watching the video.